All right, so the blade that came on the saw is extremely dull. It's an old blade. I don't have any idea the tooth pitch of it and all that. So I need to make a new blade. So I'm gonna use the blade welder and two of my old bandsaw blades. I'm gonna cut those, make one big blade and put it on there and see how it works. So obviously the first thing I have to do is cut the blade and this, this part of the saw is the blade cutter and these wings help you line the blade against the back so that you make a straight cut. So you put this in here and you pull it back against these wings and it can't, it can't move until you get it. You pull it back against these wings until it's nice and uh, flush, you know, straight. And then you cut. And do the same thing on the next one. Line it up. Make sure it's in there. All right. All right, so I've got my uh, blades cut and I ground the ends clean on my belt grinder really quickly. So now it's time to weld. All right, so I've got my blades cut and I have them captured in the welder. And so what, what I mean by that is that these levers right here, by rotating these levers up and down, it squeezes these pieces together and they capture the blade and hold it so that the blade pieces touch together. And just like on the blade cutter, there was wings to keep the blade flat along the back. By pushing the blade, by pushing the blade far into here, it flattens it out and makes sure that they're parallel and that, and that the seam is nice and straight. And so I think I've got a pretty good seam here. I'll show you where the blades touch. So this is capturing that and holding it in place. So now should be ready to weld. And to weld, you got to make sure they're got to make sure they're touching so that you make a circuit, right? And then uh, you push down on the weld lever. Oh, the door popped open. So you push down on this weld lever and it should weld this blade together. And as it welds it, it smashes it together a little bit. So you could see the, you could see the weld line travel across and then there's a pop. And so now I need to anneal that. And I hold the anneal button down until it glows and then I let off. And I'm going to do that one more time. Just enough to temper that high carbon steel that this blade is made from. So now, theoretically, I should have a, I should have a welded blade. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, so now I just gotta do the other end. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna go grind this clean real quick. All right, so I ground, I ground that side clean, so we're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna push this in here, capture it. And you know what, I can already see, I don't think this is completely straight. I think I need to grind a little bit off of that to make it good and parallel. And then this side, So, yeah, let me grind these ends real quick. All right, so I, uh, I, I ground the ends of those 
flush. So I'm gonna capture this side. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, that side is captured. I'm going to come around, push this blade into place until it touches. Capture that one. All right, now we uh, now we hope for a good weld. Look pretty good to me. So now let's anneal it. Hey, I think we have a new blade. Just look at that weld. I mean, it's a pretty clean little weld, you know? It's got a little seam that goes across it. Holds up to a flex, all right? All right, so now I'm gonna grind that clean and we'll try to put this blade right, in. So now, there's my new blade. Ready to go. I think that's pretty cool. So I took two old blades off of a 64 and a half inch bandsaw, cut and welded them on the new saw for the new saw. Pretty cool. So I, I measured for the blade by the spec on this saw that I found online, which was like a 125 inch blade, but apparently it's a 122. So I had to make another cut and weld, but that went well. I've got the new blade or the old blade made new mounted on the saw. I'm going to give it a shot now. Again, this is a blade made of two 64 and a half inch blades that I took off of my old saw. So this is not the sharpest blade. This, this is a dull blade, but it's better than the blade that came with the saw. I've already started this cut. Well, so I've already started this cut, but I'm gonna finish it. So I need I need for this cut to intersect this one. This is for a cross. Even with a fairly dull blade, I made that cut in record time compared to my old saw. Um, I was pushing off a little bit, so I got my cut a little bit wiggly, which which is fine. When when that forges out, you know you won't even be able to tell. But um, that was not the saw's fault. That was my fault. Not not push. I was pushing too hard, too fast, just really kind of to test the saw, and it did fine. I mean, I cut that in no time so really really happy with how this has turned out the the blade welder is just an amazing bonus that i was not even sure it would even work but it does and so i've got a monster stack of blades on the wall that i can probably turn into so you know that's a wad of belts, uh, blades right there that were too dull on my old saw, but with this more powerful saw, they'll probably work. So I'm going to probably weld those up into new blades. So anyway, it's worked out really well. I'm happy with the saw. It's all working nicely. Thought I would take you along for a ride and show you how to weld a blade. Thanks.